Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. That is the T Dub show. That is wow. Anyways, uh, we are back today on the Feed the Beast server, and I want to move along with the project we were working on in the last episode. And what that was was we were working on the power room downstairs. Now we have all the power here. Some of it's not currently being used. Uh, currently we have this resonant energy cell on the left that's being used and I think this one right here. This one is actually powering. For a second I thought I could punch blocks. Um, but yeah, this resonant energy cell is actually going to all the machines and stuff downstairs cooking the uh, the wood logs into or it's just furnaces, powered furnaces and whatnot, cooking the logs into charcoal, which is then getting uh, moved over to the uh, the base, my uh, other base where the steam uh, oven is, or this, you know, the, the uh, steam boiler. Wow. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I hit 400 subscribers recently. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, I made a cool 400 uh, subscriber special video. You guys should check it out. I'll throw it up right here in the, probably the top left corner. Um, okay, so now that we've gotten that little plug out, that shameless plug out of the way, uh, we will uh, continue with what we were working on. So um, let's see here. Yeah, I've got some cobble. Dirt. All right, check this out. So we are going to kind of lay out what we're going to do here. So what I'm going to do, um, we're going to put those uh, steam dynamos like along this wall right here. And then we're going to put a wall, I think, right here, kind of dividing this room like so. And, and not a big wall, but just that. And then we're going to have another uh, row right here of steam dynamos like so and wait a second hmm just thinking here I don't really need to do that but I could what I was thinking now I'm just thinking if we move this to this block so if we do steam dynamos right here and then right here, oops, we've got two small rows of five. So we'll have team 10 steam dynamos. And what we can do is take um, and say the cobble would be the water line. The water line will come up right here and then come and come across just like that. And then we can have the power actually running through this area and then up there up top. Well, actually, no. I can't do it like that, can I? So what I'm going to have to do is probably once, I've get, once I have the steam dynamos placed back here, I will, I guess I could do the power. I could do one or the other, okay? I can do one, I need to have a a line basically right here that has to feed all of these uh, I gotta feed in all the charcoal and then another one I have to feed in uh, water. So charcoal and water and then I also need a line. So I guess I could make a single line. Yeah, all of these could be pointed in and this will be the power line. And then this power line will then come back here and go down and into the uh, main power source there. So I haven't really figured out how I want to do that yet. And I might make, I don't know. I don't know how much power I want to. This is a lot of power right here. This is 50 million per. So I've got over 250 million uh, RF right here, just in this one spot. Um, and I don't know how fast this is going to work. Um, if we, I guess if we look at the steam dynamo, let's take a quick peek at what we have here. 
Steam Dynamo. Okay. Okay. So we need to make a quick Steam Dynamo. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, do we have any available? Like just sitting around? Probably not. And that's okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Steam Dynamo really quick. And it shouldn't take too long. Um, we just got to find out what kind of ingredients we need. So we're going to go like this. Okay, so we've got almost all the pieces. We need the two gears. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Let me put all this stuff in here. I don't need... Okay, so we need to get these gears going. Oh, that's pretty simple. So we need 10, so we need 20 gears. 20 gears. Boom. Okay, 20 gears made. And how many of these do we have? There we go, we got that. And then, so we only had one of those. So we need to go back and look at the recipe for this. It looks like it's just a silver ingot. Some redstone, so we need 19 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I didn't need to be that many, but that's right, because we don't have to du duplicate those. Okay, so we should have enough of everything now to just make. There we go. So now we've got the 10 of those. And what do we got here? We've got the redstone, energy conduits, um... So we've got that and that. That might not be enough redstone energy conduits. That's okay if it's not. Um, what else do we need here? We need a fluid ducts. We need a lot of fluid ducts. We've got some fluid ducts. There we go. That'll provide the water. Um, let's see here. Item ducts. We are going to need a lot more than seven. So maybe we should... Oh, there we go. I like... I like the uh, those type of item ducks anyway, so we'll go with that. And I think I have an aqueous accumulator downstairs. So really, all we need now is a bucket of water, two buckets of water. We'll do that. And yeah, all right. So let's um let's get this going. Okay. Just gonna go downstairs over here. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and line this wall. Uh, yeah, I could just do it like this. Okay, so. I can use a wrench if this doesn't point the right direction. Looks like it's pointing the right direction currently. So that works out fine. Okay, so we're going to use... Um, there we go. This will just allow me to... And that's okay. And we're going to use our wrench. Gonna take this. Cool off there. Okay, we can't turn it around yet, but what we're going to do is go ahead and remove all of these blocks right here. Okay, so we've got all of that done. We can remove uh, the blower. Let's see here. Okay, and it... Don't worry about the, how pretty it is right now, because it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get the functionality down. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to go ahead and run this right here. And for testing purposes, we're going to take this like this. We're going to test everything before we uh, go forth with it. Okay, so yeah, fluid ducts, that's going to be a thing. Okay, we're going to have to do that. I think we're going to run that right here behind it. Okay. 
and we can put that in a corner. In fact, we probably need to go ahead and knock out what's back here because we're going to need to get water up here as well. Okay. And we'll just run that right there. Okay. There's that. And what we'll run above is actually the item ducts themselves. So the next block will be these bad boys. Oops. It's not really as complicated as it looks, guys. Um, don't you worry. Okay, and all those are correct. There we go. So it looks kind of funky right now. Um, and you're probably asking yourselves, damn, that's a lot of wires and stuff. But this is all needed. This is all things that we need. And so this right here is going to connect right here. And then that one. And then right here. is where we're going to put the water. Assuming we have enough. Um, I believe we will. And I have the aqueous accumulator over here. Just kind of chilling. I don't even know how I remembered. But I did. So we're going to get water from over here. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Okay, so we're going to, I guess before we should do that, we should actually just fill this up with water. Um, I think you only need three blocks, so you don't have to do it like I'm doing it. But I think you just, I, I just do it with four. I don't know. Just, uh, there we go. We just need to take a block like this. And boom. And then you've got uh, normal water. I'm going to go ahead because I'm, oh, blah, did not mean to do that. There we go. And you don't need to hook this up to any other power because this thing doesn't need power. It just needs coal. And uh, everything else should be fine. So there's that. And, oh, God, I hate that block behind it. Oh, my gosh. we got to get rid of that. Okay. And we'll get all the other blocks later. Like I said, don't worry about being pretty right now. Boom. Okay, this should be filling up. It's it's filling up all of these right now, as you see. Um, the top ones, the bottom ones, everything should be filling up with water. Um, and that is good. Okay, so we might have, and we don't, but that's okay. That's another thing I was telling you guys about. Now what we can do, since I'm not using, I think, this middle one here, we can, let's see here. Okay, so we need to figure out how we're going to run. Okay, so we're going to need to come back here a little bit more. And right here, we are going to, in the middle one, I'm using this because I don't want to like remove all the dirt. Whoa. Well, that's nice. Yay. I'm in the water. That's okay because we don't want that. We're just going to cover that back up because this actually goes outside. Okay. Now that all the water is gone, just make sure to cover it up. And then what you're going to do right here, that's just because it was sand, um, you're going to take what other item ducts you have, and you're going to take it from the top, just like so, bring it down, and then uh, that's going to come all the way down here, and boom, you've got that, and it's going around these fluid ducts. The fluid ducts are taking care of their business, and now the redstone energy conduits are taking care of theirs as well. Okay, so you should have everything hooked up. So these things are hooked up, and what we need to do now is we need to have a center point at one of these blocks here. And I guess we could just use this block. And so what we can do is take up 
one of these like that and I've got plenty of power so I don't really care if it like messes up necessarily the first time um, but yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to move all my power to this location and our basically we're gonna move all the charcoal to this location so what we're uh, I keep saying what we're gonna do um, so yeah so the charcoal is right here so what we need to do is actually go to the other base and pick up that so this is T-dubs here we go alrighty and see that's where this is making power actually I don't even think this is making oh yeah this is sending the power back so um yeah so this is the one I need to take right here and I think if we leave it alone it'll actually keep doing the same things so let me get my book and we should be good to go okay and we have a ton of charcoal so I'm not really worried about anything breaking I have like over almost a million charcoal okay here we go And then we gotta take these and you angle them out, angle them out. Alright, so we should start seeing these work. And that was a quick representation of changing out your power source. I don't 100% know that this is gonna be any better. Um, I should have probably tested that out. Um, let's see here. Currently, the maximum RF per tick is 80. So, 80 RF per tick times 5, so that's, or times 10. So, what's, you know, that's uh, 80 times 10 is 800. 800 RF per tick is that's quite a bit. That's uh, quite a lot. Now, let me actually go back to my other base again and see... How much power are we making over there? And the thing is, it has to all go through the steam oven. and Or no, well, right now it's actually not. I've cut that whole portion out. But um, let's go back over there and see how much power this is actually using here. Let's see. How much, how much are we actually making here? I don't know, to be honest. Oh, we're actually only making... We have six steam dynamos here, so we're all we're actually making less energy through this than doing it the way we have it now. So yeah, I think we're doing pretty good now. That actually could be changed um, by the size of my steam boiler, but this seems to do pretty well itself. As you see, it's just it's working very very well um, let me actually take up one of these here um, okay so we're gonna take this up we're gonna set this down okay now we're gonna break it the wrong way you don't do this just what I just did that just completely depleted 50 million but we're doing this to see what happens um, and how fast this thing will create energy. Now, they're not all filled up yet. Um, these last, these other ones are going to start working here in a moment. But as you see, it's not really that slow. Um, this is getting the maximum input cur currently. So, and it's it's going up pretty quick. We just uh, we're just about to make a hundred thousand RF. Um, and I don't even think these are on yet. No, they're not on yet because these are still filling up with 64. But I think they'll be on very, very shortly. And at that, we'll be at full strength. So this technically is probably making more power than my um, previous um, steam boiler. The steam boiler was something I was comfortable with because I had done it on other servers. It was something that um, is easily made um, once you get all the steel and things but to me now that these are all on this is going to be probably
probably the way I run my base for now at least. And until I find other uses, I think this is going to be the way that I want to go. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you again next time.